All right, 7.2 then. Okay. Consideration of allocating funds for the design portion of PG&E transmission and distribution line relocation within the Middle Creek Restoration Project, Supervisors Crandall and Sabatier. Yeah, I can I can do so if you'd like. And so um, this item is uh, something we've been discussing at the Middle Creek Restoration Committee, but also a discussion we had back in 2019 with uh, one of the uh, representatives. Uh, his name's on the letter, but um, something. yeah, Kelly Peterson or something of the like. But <laughs> uh, I better get it right. So um, let's see. Either way, um, we one of the th one of the requirements that we have is to work with PG&E, as you know, David Kelly. Um, requirements is because the towers uh, within the project need to be raised. Um, PG&E had made that uh, uh, requirement. And so when we met with David, we had asked some questions uh, about this. And uh, in the letter, you'll see that the approximate cost for them to do the entire project is $2 million. So, and the figure was very preliminary. Um, they'd like a, an advanced deposit of 100,000, and then also to have another 100,000 for, I think it's the second letter that dictates that. But um, for both transmission towers and uh, distribution poles relocated, and I think it's also uh, uh, a validation study that needs to be done. And so putting this in the hopper uh, for either um, just to have it appropriated or, um, or something like that, because uh, we've have, we have all of the others covered, if you will. Um, we want to be able to buy this property and then get into project design um, with no, you know, with no, uh, you know, hindrances or anything that's going to slow it down. Um, you know, we want to show, you know, the powers that be that we're ready to move forward with this project. So um, that's my, um, that's what I have. I think uh, Supervisor Spati, if you have more. Yeah, we, we were kind of holding back. Um, we didn't want to give any money to PG&E to start something that eventually the Army Corps of Engineers would let us know that it was unnecessary. Uh, with our engagement lately with the Army Corps of Engineers, we are now having the conversation to move forward with the PG&E process in order for the Army Corps to really understand what is the plan from PG&E. Uh, for example, with the transmission towers, there's seven of them. PG&E is asking for some sort of road access to each one of the transmission towers. We really need to figure out what that looks like. Are you asking for us to restore Middle Creek by getting rid of the levees and then creating new levees so you can access the transmission towers? That makes no sense. Uh, we, we'd like for them to start the design process so we can discuss how that design will have an impact on the overall design of the Middle Creek restoration. Again, they're asking for $100,000 for each of the towers, the distribution towers and the transmission towers. So a total of $200,000 would be allocated specifically for PG&E to start the design process. Um, and uh, those funds we have found can be allocated from cannabis funds from two separate buckets uh, where there's some funding available for that cause. So you said they're raising the towers, they're gonna lift them up higher or are they relocating them? They want to uh, determine how they're going to do so because they don't want the towers submerged in the, in the water. Even though the, if one of the levees break, it may happen. And we've still not got an answer from them on that. And we've also established with them in a discussion that they're saying they're doing maintenance and we haven't seen it. So either way, it's a requirement. Uh, and so we really have no choice uh, when it comes to that situation. And for them, the raising of the tower is a relocation. So it's not like they're moving the towers, but it's being relocated in the sense of elevation. So um, we pay this, uh, um, the cost for the initial study and the planning, and then ultimately who pays for the relocation, the $7 million? Is that pg and &E or is that us? Or is that yet to be determined? At this moment in time, unless uh, Scott DeLeon or Marina is online to correct me, unless Supervisor Crandall uh, knows better than me as well, I believe that it is a LERD, a local... Um, LERDs. Local, basically, we, we are the ones that have to produce the funding to make that possible, but I think our, our LERD percentage is 25. So we would be looking at finding 25%. For the entire project, it's going to be 25% has to come from the county. 
And so obviously we would continue to work with our state agencies, our federal agencies in order to figure out how to get all those funding when it comes to the final amount that we need to make all of these things happen. But in order to understand all those things, we have to go through the design process in the first place. Okay. Any other comments from the board? Just, uh, just uh, one comment. Um, obviously, support the project. Obviously, it needs to be done. That conversation has been happening since I came on the board also. Um, but I did have one question where the pots of money that was coming for, it seems like it would be more adequate to come out of the 467, the planning and water resources completely. Um, but I understand the concept of pulling a little bit from each one, um, you know, but the, the economic development and risk reduction, that's, that's a challenge to meet it there. I think from the environmental health standpoint, definitely would think it fit under that portion of the tax funds. But I also had one other question about another fund that we had, uh, the pg e settlement funds that we had. I think there are still some funds um, in that account. I don't know if I know we've done some road projects out of there, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention it. But in support of this, I, I absolutely support this needs to be completed. Stephen Carter, Assistant <coughs> County Administrative Officer. From the pg e settlement funds, um, there is about, I believe, three to $4 million left. It's in our disaster budget unit. So any disaster comes down the line, we don't have to request state for um, advancing funds in that environment, but that is theoretically still available. Okay. Just and, some, those are just some questions I had. So I just wanted to talk through all three of those pots of funds that we have. All right. Anything Thank else, you, Stephen? LERD stands for Lands Easement Right of Way and Disposal. LERDS, yeah. That's okay. local. Yeah. Did you have something else? I did want to make sure when when I looked at the agenda item, if we, if the letter is approved, the hundred thousand has to go with the letter. So we can make that happen right away and then bring said funding sources back at mid year to replenish wherever we make the payment from, which would probably be budget unit seventeen eighty one special projects. Okay. So Vice Chair Simon, we can look at that. In February? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yes. Okay. Supervisor Green? Yeah, I just wanted to echo what Vice Chair uh, Simon was talking about. Uh, the only question I had was the buckets of money and supportive of this moving forward. Okay. Supervisor Spatier. And just as a quick explanation, uh, appreciate the. Um, looking for other fund opportunities that we have in order to pay for this. Uh, but the entire Middle Creek restoration project also ends with the words flood control. And so I see that as a risk reduction, hence why that bucket I felt was appropriate to look at. Okay. But either way, if wherever we find it from and getting that support is really what matters today. Okay. Anything from the public? Do we have anyone in the chambers or in the Zoom room? And I am not seeing any, so I will bring it back to the board for action. So quick question, um, do I just change our recommended action to the allocation of $200,000 and not specify from cannabis taxes? At this stage, are we just doing the 100,000 or are we expecting 200,000 before the end of the year? Because it can go through the normal process for the second half if, depending on timing. I, I would like to move forward with the 200 so that each one of those, the distribution. You're just ready to go. Yeah. Um, that works. Okay. And we could always put some money back in other areas, just again, doing uh, whatever we do in February to move things around to make sure that things stay whole. So to make that transparent, um, wherever we make the initial payment from would come out of general fund dollars at um, mid-year budget. We would do the budgetary actions to transfer cannabis funds over to where we had paid it from, thus paying, replenishing with cannabis funds. Um, and depending on what your board decides, we can do 100,000 out of the risk reduction and 100,000 out of water resources or how, whichever you decide. And that specific decision would be in the mid-year as to what Correct. is replenishing the general fund? Correct. And it, it can come from the PG&E if that's the decision that we make as well? 
It is possible, yes. Okay, so at this moment in time, we could just leave it blank and just say allocate $200,000. We'll make it specific uh, mid-year so that we have a conversation. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Madam Chair, I move to approve the allocation of $200,000 for the PG&E deposit needed for the Middle Creek Restoration Project. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you.